Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my second paycheck results. So let's get started. All right, so here's my paycheck to budget spread. We are gonna go over all of the actuals for this paycheck to see what truly happened and what took place. Just so everyone know, I did make the spreadsheet myself in Excel. So now let's go ahead and look at the income portion. So for my salary, I did get an actual of $2,195.86. There is actually no fluctuation in this paycheck, surprisingly to me, because the past several paychecks has been going up and down due to my state taxes. But this time it stayed exactly the same. So the difference here was $45.00 and 86 cents all right um during this pay period i did also receive my state tax refund for the exact amount of 328 dollars so i'm very happy about that there was no change and then like i mentioned in the paycheck to budget video i also received my mortgage insurance refund that was paid out at the same time of me refinancing my home when you know the closing happened this money was paid out but i got it refunded for 52 dollars and 80 cents so no change there but lastly i did add on i have finally 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 all the way from january of this year received my utilities credit um which was 110 dollars and 26 cents I'm going to put plus 110.26 here. So I finally received that credit. All right, so let me go ahead and go through that total for what I had to work with this pay period. So I had 21.95.86 plus 3.28 plus 52.80 plus 110.26. Okay, so in total I had 2,600. $86.92 to work with. All right. So now I'm going to just show you guys my Erin Condren monthly bill tracker. This is what I use to keep track of all of my bills to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. All right. So these are my main four bills right here. These are my cash expenditures. Personal technically stays in my checking account, but I treat it just the same. And then I have a space to keep track of my debt snowball payments. And then down here are my um, non-regular monthly bills. So I have my water bill, car insurance, and Microsoft. All three of those are accounted for in my sinking funds, but I keep them pulled out here so I know when to make the payment. So as you can see, for example, my water bill is due in April, so I will be making that payment from my sinking funds in April for my water bill. Okay, so the first bill that we see here is my utilities for 201 that has been paid for the month of March. Okay, my uh, mortgage and Verizon that's due April 1st. Those, um, Verizon is an automatic payment so that won't come out until April 1st. But my mortgage that's currently sitting in my bank account, I haven't physically made the payment. So those two, which are be right here for April, mortgage and Verizon, those two are going to just sit there um, until April 1st. Mortgage, I may make the payment, you know, physically sooner before April 1st, but Verizon won't get pulled until that actual due date. So I'm going to leave those two unchecked because I like to check them off once the money physically leaves my account. But the money is sitting there currently and then for my variable expenses I gave myself my normal $250 so I'm going to check that off and mark it right here so $250 and then the next things I'm going to talk about are not represented on this chart except for the debt snowball but I'll show that here um, my iPhone I just bought this phone that I'm currently recording with. I bought this phone in January and I had the money to pay, pay the installment plan off for the device. That total was 
$549.99. However, um, the last $25 installment plan was already factored in my April's billing cycle. So I still will pay that extra $25 in April, but then after that, my bill will get much, much smaller. Okay, and then lastly, for my savings slash buffer, I am putting away $544.32. And I'm just marking that right here because I want the balance down here to show what my actual debt snowball payment will be. So let's do some math. So we have my total of, let me write this again for income, $2,000. $686.92. My fixed expenses stayed exactly the same at $862.44. Okay, and then my variable expenses has changed. So $250 plus $549.99 plus $544.32 equals $1,000. $344 with 31 cents. And I'll write that again right here. $1,344.31. Lastly, for unbudgeted, that stayed the same as well, thankfully at $0. So now let's do this um, paycheck to break down math. So starting with 2686 with 92 cents minus 862 44 cents minus 1344 dollars and 31 cents leaves me with 480 dollars and 17 cents and that is the exact payment amount that i sent to debt out of this pay period that snowball. Okay, so if you've seen my last video, which was my debt tracker update, you'll know that that's exactly how much money I needed to bring my overall debt balance to $10,000. Now, feel free to check out that video to see why I wanted to pay down my loans to $10,000. Um, and yeah, okay, so this four eighty seventeen dollars was paid. So I'm gonna check that off here and I'm going to check it off here. So everything for March has been taken care of. The only um, thing for April that Paycheck 2 is gonna take care of is my mortgage and Verizon. And those two set amounts are sitting in my checkings account. They're just waiting to be paid. And once those payments come out of my account, I will check off both of these boxes. And then everything will be all good until April comes around and April will be a special month because it will be a magic month. All right, so 48017 has been paid. All right, so now I'm just gonna flip you back to my debt tracker update. All right, so here's my debt tracker for Great Lakes loan number four. That is the loan that's being targeted for the month of March. Okay, and this $480.17 payment went towards that loan. If you recall from paycheck number one, I also made an additional payment of $887.66. So that means a total of $1,367.83 went towards Great Lakes loan number four. And then also, if you caught my last video, which was the debt tracker update, you know that loan number four started off with for the month of March at $4,408.41. So that means the current loan balance is at $3,040.58. Okay, taking a difference between this number and what I started with for, the, for loan number four when I made this tracker is $5,819.70. Let me make sure it's <laughs> visible. So that means I paid off $2,779.12. And each block right here represents $250. 
So divide that by 250 gives me a total of 11 squares that I can color in. And I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares colored in. And these last two squares I can color in right now because that $480 payment was made. And I'm very, very happy to be so close to debt freedom. So now all I have is just this much more to go and plus this much more to go. And then that will be everything for this loan. So flipping you over to my debt free land. I know I have more trackers in here, but I am skipping them on purpose because I do go over everything in my debt tracker update. So feel free to check out my last video. Okay. So with that um, $480 payment with 17 cents, I am able to color in one more percent, which is 86% complete. All right. So out of $74,025.29, I have paid off 86% of my overall debt. And we can just get a roundabout answer on how much that is times 86%. Over $63,000 has been paid off so far. Wow. Wow, I'm amazed at myself because I've been at this journey for over two years and it's finally, finally coming to an end. So a few good things occurred with this paycheck. Um, I received several refunds. I was able to pay my bills. I was able to pay off my iPhone, put money towards savings or a buffer. And then um, I was also able to make a debt snowball payment to pay to pay my loans down to ten to the ten k mark. So with that, that is basically everything I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.